Halo 3 PC flight has been extended as well with some new invites going out on top of that and we have some leaked customization coming in for you guys as well and a playlist update for the MCC. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another news information video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel helps more people get to catch their eyes on this to get more in the know of everything going on in Halo. So as we all know, the Halo 3 PC flight has been continuing on for the last week or so and it actually has been extended, extended all the way to June 26th. And as we have been extended on the flight, we probably need some more people playing because retention does die off on these flights and so the 100 and 30,000 new invites have been sent out to get people to play this flight. So if you haven't got yours yet, check your Halo Waypoint messages now because by the time this video is out, everyone should have their emails if you got a chance to be invited in. Again, like I said, they're doing the invites through Halo Waypoint. So check your messages on Halo Waypoint to make sure you get your code, content code and you'll be able to play some Halo 3 on PC until the 26th. Now I did originally let you guys know on this channel by using my community post here, the way you find out those community posts is by subscribing on the channel guys. So make sure you tap subscribe to make sure you keep yourselves updated with all the content and all the news happening with Halo. And also follow me on Twitter, link in the description down below. I tweet out stuff as soon as it goes live. Now the reason why they want to extend this flight is because they're looking to actually send out a patch update for the flight build as well as we have some various changes coming to the MCC uh, for Halo 3 on PC. And and most of them are just kind of regular, relative, like regular bug fixes you would come across while playing the game. Uh, some interesting UI changes though. Uh, common feedback has been that the challenge system notifications, which does work now, which is pretty sweet, it's uh, a bit intrusive when that you do accomplish a step towards uh, getting your challenges done. So what they've done is actually updated to where it's a little bit more subtle, not a huge block that happens in the upper right, but more just kind of like a subtle little line that kind of pops in as you can see in this image from Halo 3, just kind of showcasing what it will look like in the future. I think this is a much better move for the notification system for your challenges to so, you know, let you know that what you're doing, you're accomplishing the things that you need to get done to get that XP for that seasonal grind, which looks like we might be getting a new season coming in pretty soon, guys. So we'll get that into that later in this video. But firstly, I want to talk about are this new kind of feature which is brought in with this flight that has no use for it at the moment but I think we will begin a use for it relatively soon and that is user skins. When I first logged on to the game I was kind of looking through the UI checking out cool new things to see what's around and I saw this saying user skins and you can enable it or disable it. Enable it makes it so you can see user skins. Disabling it makes it so you can't see user skins. And I was like, user skins, like user created content, being able to be used to customize your character in this game? Not exactly. Uh, 343 does actually go into a little bit of information about this, essentially saying that these are gonna be kind of alluded to later on when it comes to uh, the big June development update that we get every month. Just confirming that there will be no user generated content when it comes to customization, but I think we have a little bit of a teaser when it comes to what's gonna be in this customization as we do have a leaked video that I found on Twitter here, guys, showcasing various different changes you can make to your Spartan in not just Halo 3, not just Halo 2, but in CE and other parts of the game as well. Things like changing the weapon camos, changing your colors, changing your visor colors, changing vehicle skins, weapon skins, like it's actually pretty awesome customization that looks like it's gonna be coming into this game, guys. Uh, this is something I was not expecting at all. This is something I would hope was gonna be able to be possible, but doing uh, the development underneath these time constraints, I wouldn't think that 343 would be able to have the time to be able to go into this level of customization because there's gonna be a new season, I would think, eventually, right? Especially for a game like Halo 3, which is going to be the pinnacle of the MCC population. The most people are going to be playing this at the time. And, you know, we've had the same season one since the launch of Reach back in early December. And I think most people at this point have hit their tier 100. I hit tier 100 back in, I think, January. And I've hit right, tier 100 in the MCC build as well, in the Insider build as well. So I played a ton of this game and I really like to be able to grind out something new beyond just nameplates. And it looks like we have legitimate game 
customization for your characters, for your vehicles, for your weapons coming in, guys. So that's going to be really exciting content. I'm sure once the uh, big uh, development update comes for June at the end of the month, I will definitely break that down. I'm sure we will get some more details on exactly how this all will work. Uh, I would just think that, yeah, we would have to get a new season with the implementation of the challenge system, uh, Halo 3 coming out, and we've had the same season since December. So seven months at this point essentially and so this would be really exciting new stuff the reason to play the mcc on pc and also on console as well don't forget now you're probably also wondering oh god i haven't grinded my way up through 100 tiers on the reach season what's going to happen next don't worry that season will stay each season will stay in the mcc it will not go away there's no fomo or fear of missing out it's all gonna stay there you'll just be able to use your seasonal points in the Halo 3 season compared to the Halo Reach season. Or vice versa, if you wanna unlock your season one stuff, go back and use your season points now and unlock the previous stuff, or use your seasonal points and unlock with the new season. It's all gonna stay within the game. I am very excited about this. This will definitely give me a reason to grind out the MCC even more than just playing the game and having a good time with you guys. So if you guys want to jump in with some games and play around and experience the awesomeness, make sure you follow me on Twitch, guys. Link in the description down below as well. I do stream the MCC quite often on that channel, so I would really appreciate you guys coming by hanging out. Of course, your viewership here is more than appreciated. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this segment, mentioning about how there is an ability to turn it on and off. So my assumption is that if you want to maintain that true classic MCC experience you can do that by disabling your user skins and so then the game just looks like how it did how you imagine the game to look but if you want to see that customization that characters will be having you can turn that on again more details will be revealed at the end of June for the development update and now after hearing all this MCC news and information you're probably like oh god I really want to play this game now but the weekly changes happen so what's happening now well actually we had a rotational plays happen on Wednesday guys so uh, what rotated out was Griff Ball but for in its place they rotated in a race in social FFA so you just queue up for a free-for-all match make sure you search the action stack mode or the feature mode and you'll be able to play race maps so race maps for H2A and Halo 3 on top of that so very awesome stuff guys I love me some race I know Duquesne 23 will be a very appreciative of this special playlist. Race is one of the f most fun casual modes you can have while playing Halo. So I definitely would suggest guys jumping in, playing a little bit of that. Halo 3's maps are amazing for uh, Race, for the stuff they were able to accomplish back in the rudimentary Forge days. And so this is gonna be great. And also just uh, Halo 2 Anniversary's race tracks are pretty freaking awesome as well on top of that. So that about does it for all the news and information for you guys. If you like this video, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you wanna see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you're excited about coming to the MCC. You'd like this new customization options? Do you gotta have it enabled? Are you gonna have it disabled? Let me know in the comments. I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself updated with all the news and information happening in the Halo universe. And and also, if you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. Got a link to all my recent videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. But I thank you so much, guys, for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll definitely catch you all in the next one. Peace out.